All right. Hello, everyone. Hey, are you going to be quiet? I want to make a video. Okay. He, I told him, quiet down. Okay, so I want to do a Prajna video on XRP. This, uh, okay, this is kind of going along with more of my financial astrology videos. And I've, <clears throat> as some of you have been watching my previous videos, I've been very much into financial astrology, using it to invest in cryptocurrency and things like that. And, um, you know, like uh, I, I just noticed that there weren't really that many people doing a lot of amazing stuff with this, uh, with astrology. I think that there actually are a lot, but they're kind of not in the public eye. I think most of the best financial astrologers are probably already bought up by people who have, you know, the resources to do that. But here's just a one simple way of how you can use astrology to make the best of any investment or to make the best of your resources. So a lot of people are trying to predict like Bitcoin and cryptocurrency just by reading the birth chart of Bitcoin or these things. And then they're trying to read the birth charts of the people that created them, like the and, and then they're trying to read the charts of all these altcoins. And that's not what the ancients would do. Like, I'm not saying that wouldn't be helpful and give us some advice or some input. I mean, I did a whole video on the birth chart of Bitcoin to show you guys. Yeah, this can help us. But this is actually not what the ancients would have done is not actually what I'm doing to make my buying and selling judgments. Um, the, the ancients would have used a variety of other techniques. I think they would have used a lot of Varsha fall, solar return, they would have used mundane charts. And then um, one of the main things is Prajna. So uh, if any of you guys ever have a query about a certain coin an altcoin or some random coin oh like this and that's gonna they say this is gonna explode you can just send me an email or another skilled prajna reader and they'll cast a prajna for right that moment is this coin going to be great is this going to be lead to the gains and that's what i've been doing when people tell me oh you know buy link or something i'll just cast a chart right then when i hear about it is this going to lead me to gains and that's worked really well for me so this was basically the case of that. Someone hired me to say, they hired me to ask, will this XRP investment lead to the financial freedom that I hope it will? This is someone who had some money to invest and they were trying to find a way to get more abundance and financial freedom in their life. And XRP was one of these coins that a lot of people thought was going to really take off. He asked me this last summer, July 30th of 2020. So at that time, yeah, there was quite a lot of hype around XRP. Some people thought banks were about to pick it up and start using it. And that's what different people were kind of hyping me up about it. When I, this was when I would, didn't know much at all about the coin still. I was still just learning little bits. So I casted a Prajna chart. He asked me, you know, will this bring the gains that I hope it will bring? And so I casted a chart for that. And I saw, okay, we have a Leo Lagna. It's a fixed sign. That tends to not mean much of a change is going to happen when it's sent. If you're just focusing on just that one thing, it's not the strongest indicator, but fixed means fixed. Everything's going to be the same. So the sun is there. So that's strong. This, the sun is in the first house. He's not really aspecting the Lagna strongly, but he's there. So that shows, okay, there's a strong kingdom. We also saw Mars in the ninth. That, that was a great placement, a very strong Mars. Mars seems to have a lot to do with these coins, um, perhaps because coins are like metal and Mars ruled metals in the old days. And Mars rules the natural crypto sign, the eighth sign, the hidden sign Scorpio. And so we see that the fourth Lord of deposits is in the ninth. That's good. That shows that there's definitely going to be some improvement of this thing. So I thought, okay, yeah, that's good. Um, and I kept looking and uh, let me pull up my notes here because I made some notes. So, so we saw that something good was going to come because of that Mars placement. And then the sun, the Lagna Lord is applying to that in an openly friendly aspect. So yeah, something good is going to happen with these to gain. You're going to move forward on some level, but that's not really what he was asking. He wasn't asking is like, can I get a quick gain out of this? He wasn't asking like, can I, is this a good coin to day trade to get a quick gain? He was looking for his full-on abundance and so to look further 
to see if this is really going to be the coin that you throw everything in and it makes you able to retire in 10 years or something, you know? Um, that's what he was really asking about long-term fulfillment. And so for that, you really want to look at the 11th house. But first off, looking at the second house, that's the house of resources and money. The second house is empty, but the second Lord Mercury goes to the 12th house of losses and expenses. So that means this is an expense. This is a loss. You're just, you might as well burn that money. <laughs> you, know, you might as well light that money and burn it in the sense of a long-term goal. You can't just put it into XRP like it's some bank account that will just always grow. That's what that's saying. The other house for investing is the fifth house. And the fifth house has uh, the moon waxing, which is really good. But then the moon is the Lord of the Mercury. That's the lost planet. So it's saying, how do the losses come through trying to invest and speculate and fifth house thing and thinking, you know, that this is the best thing. Nope. K2 there also confirms that. Um, but yeah, the, the moon, the moon is aspecting the Lagna, so that's good, but it's separating from the Ascendant Lord. It's not aspecting Mercury either. It's aspecting Venus, but in an enemical way. It is applying to Mars in a friendly way though, so that's good. So what we're seeing is kind of like some gains, but not this, this really big gain. Um, so yeah, 12th Lord and the 5th means losses from 5th house things, which is investing or speculating, gambling, predicting the future. That's all the 5th house thing. The 5th house actually has to do with predicting the future, if you wanted to pick one house. Um, yeah, K2 and the 5th further confirms that. And then Jupiter is the 5th Lord. So we look at the 5th Lord. Oh no, Jupiter is debilitated. Ugh. And it's in the 6th house, a Dustana, a bad house. Ugh. And it's uh, with Saturn, geez, and it's retrograde. So this is just a complete no. This is just not from the long-term Jupiter standpoint, nope. <sighs> so it's really a very bad investment in a sense uh, for the long-term sense. Uh, this investment will lead to breaks, the sixth house, to doubts with Saturn, to debts, the sixth house, misery with Saturn. In terms of quick trades and stuff, it's, it's not that bad. It has some good to it. Um, oh, and the fifth Lord is retrograde. That also means like it's going to go forward and then go back. And that's exactly what it did. Um, then you look at, you can look at the seventh Lord to know more about trading. Is this a good trade right now? Seventh Lord is in the sixth. Again, it's in a Dustana. That's bad. So we see how crazy is it? How many things are connected to Dustanas? The second Lord, the seventh Lord. Oh, the 11th Lord is also Mercury. Wow. So I didn't even, I, I think I knew that during the time, but just reviewing it, I'm just now remembering that. So the second Lord and the 11th Lord was in the 12th. Major no-no. And uh, Venus on the 11th cusp is good normally, but with Rahu there, I think that it's showing that no, the long-term gains are not there. So it's showing that, um, yeah, there's a little bit of something good you can get out of this coin, but not in a long-term sense. And Venus is also separating from the fourth and ninth Lord Mars. So that's also kind of a, not great. It's the third Lord in the 11th. So the third is like difficulties, like day trading. So if you're really smart and had bots and you're, you're really hardcore into the day trading side of it, playing the real mercurial game, you would get gains out of this coin, but it's not something that is really for all of us to benefit from, not something to give you a long-term investment and it's just not signaling that this is the going to bring the abundance that you need. So that's what's really fascinating. For those of you that don't follow the, the crypto world, XRP, it's also called Ripple. It was really hot in this summer. People thought it would go up. It, it did have a little explosion when Bitcoin went up. And um, like I made like, I put a little bit into it. I made like 300 bucks and was like, oh, cool. And then I didn't sell when I, sh when I knew I should have sold too. And then it dropped back down by like, complete half and I lost everything I'd made from it and it was just kind of a waste. I've done fine with other coins so it was all good but it was a complete waste. It was a complete loss. It was something that you could have gained from but you need to get out of it quickly and what happened was it actually turned out that the owner of this coin got sued by the SEC. So XRP actually got sued by the government, the the, the SEC and um, they stopped even selling this coin on Coinbase. 
and that's like the main place where everyone in america would go to buy coins and so it means that that alone like means that this is a much harder this is just a coin that's not really you know praised and it's not really a great coin overall and in the same amount of time there have been like a zillion other coins that have just shot up and been amazing like ave or like link or just all these other coins that you can like look into and and learn about if you want um and see that you know yeah those are ones that if someone had asked me i bet i would have cast a project and it would have said that it would have said how great it was but this one not so much so this is just a really like clean simple way to understand how to use your prajna for to yeah to to make your life better with financial abundance a lot of people aren't really that crazy about financial astrology i've come to learn because they're like oh you shouldn't use astrology for selfish aims but i'm sorry every time you use astrology it's for selfish aims one way or the other and getting money itself isn't a bad thing it's more what you do with your money you know and what you do with that that really matters but we uh if I can help people create more financial abundance, then by all means, I want to do so. And I hope you guys get me there. So yeah, if you're ever interested in a coin or something, shoot me a prajna and I could maybe help us both make a lot of money in abundance. All right. Thanks, y'all. Take care. One more thing. I just recognized that uh, the re what you could see with the SEC suing it and all kind of shows the fact that the seventh lord of the public like the other people in the world and and uh including governmental situations and stuff saturn would be saturn is in the sixth house and is what's starving that jupiter so that actually kind of shows you that the capricorn the worldly governmental uh procedures and saturn there which has to do with government more on that level of like in the SEE, SEC and all, especially since sun is this chart's ruling planet. So we wouldn't want to just look at the sun for government here. Um, Saturn has to do with more like uh, mid-level government, taxes, commissions, fees, SEC, stuff like that. And that being in the sixth and, you know, harming Jupiter, the fifth Lord is kind of showing. Actually, if I was a really, really good astrologer, Prajna, I probably would have, you know, not me, but I'm saying a really good astrologer, Prasha would have probably seen this and been like, oh no, in about six months, they're going to get, or in a few months, they're going to get sued by the SCC or by a governmental Capricorn Saturn structure will, will cause a delay or an obstruction to the progress, the healthy growth and uh, development and Jupiter of this currency. So that's actually kind of even being shown in this chart. Wow, cool stuff. All right, y'all enjoy this and uh, have a good one. Take care.